Good morning and thank you for watching my videos. My name is Sparks. I am making a tutorial on um, Cam Studio. I am going to show you how to install it and use it. But first, um, first thing I want to do is push P. Um, well, I already have points registered, so I'll Cam Clear. All right. So the first thing you really want to do is when you install it, um, it and if you don't want to. Um, watch my tutorial then you can just um, skip right here just click this link right here and I will uh, put it'll show you exactly how to install it and I'll show you that at the end of the video but for now I'm just going to be showing you guys what it does and some basic commands because I'm I mean I use it but I'm not professional at it and I'm not going to say that I am so um, first thing I've, I mean, I've used it before, so if you push P, that's point one registered. So now if you fly over here and I push P again, now it's going to do your points, and that's where you're going to fly to. So if I push slash cam start, and I'm going to say 20 seconds, it's going to move me very slowly, so it's very cinematic, and it looks, it looks very nice, and that's what I, I like. I like to have that in my videos, but um, I mean, th these tutorials that I'm showing you right now, they do take a lot of time, and uh, I mean, there is a lot of kids around here, and um, it's just really hard for me to, to get time to uh, to be talking in my videos and stuff because it's crazy and I work a lot, but anyway, but that's basically what it does is, is it makes it very cinematic and, and it slows it down, so if you're doing a time lapse or something, you don't have a bunch of this in your video. It's very nice and it's really good for recording. So now if I push cam clear, then all my points have been gone. And let's start a new one. So if I start here and I want to go up here, well, I mean, you can do any, you know, wherever you want to and it will take you wherever. But I mean, you have to do your own. Let's do this for 10 seconds. See now how that that's amazing. You can see it and it's very nice. But anyway, you can see my my guy over here flying. <laughs> anyway, you always want to make sure you have your guy out of the video so that way it looks nicer. But um, this is just a demo, so I'm not really you know setting this up. But I have done a Cam Studio time lapse of this build that I'm showing you right now. Um, if you want to, I will probably have a link in the bottom, and you can watch that. It's a time lapse that I've made, like I said, with Cam Studio, and um, it's very good for videos, and I would recommend it if you are making time lapse videos or anything. So um, I will get into the installation now, installation now, sorry, and I will show you guys how to install it. All right. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you install Minecraft mods is you want to go to options and you want to push force update. I don't need to, but that's what you need to. I mean, I know that they're going to work, but if you have any mods installed, what this does is it erases those mods and allows you to download these ones, um, Camera Studio and Optifine. Um, you don't really need to install Optifine, but Camera Studio, it does use your Minecraft a lot, and you will lag if you don't have Minecraft or Optifine for most users. Um, like me, I always have to Optifine installed, but um, you, yeah, you want to make sure that you have your mods and they work with each other. Um, so like I said, options and force update your game. Um, second thing you always want to do is you always want to make sure that your Minecraft is closed. Do not have Minecraft open or it will not work. Alright, so if um, the next step is, if you don't already have it installed, you want to install WinRAR. Um, I will have a link in the description, um, so you can go and click on that. And you need to download WinRAR because what it does is it allows you to um, put these mods inside your Minecraft folder. Without it, um, I mean, you can have 7-zip seven, seven or whatever. I, I, mean, I, I use WinRAR, so that's what I'm going to show you guys. So once you have that downloaded and installed, then you can continue. Um, but... What you want to do to go to your Minecraft jar to start putting your folders in is you want to type in percent app data percent and that will bring you right up to right here. Um, so this is your Minecraft folder. If you go into it, you will see all these things and on the very top it will have the bin and you'll see Minecraft right here. Um, so when you right click on it and you go down to open with WinRAR, see this is what, if you don't have WinRAR or 7-zip, then you can't open it. Um, so you want to always do that. Um, 
now that you have this, you will have um, a little folder right here and it will call meta inf. You always want to delete that, so make sure you delete meta inf. It will be right here. Um, that what it does is it doesn't allow you to use your mods. And uh, so you have to delete meta inf. That's very important. Um, so once you have this all open, um, you can put that right here. I want to minimize the other one, but it, I mean, it doesn't matter. But you have this, so this is your Minecraft.jar folder. You want to open Camera Studio, um, and you just select all. It doesn't matter. And you just drag them right into your Minecraft.jar. Okay. Um, so that's closed. Now for Optifine, you just do the same thing. You open it right up, select all, and you drag it right into the Minecraft.jar. And that's about it. That's really all you need to do. So for recap, um, you want to go down here and you want to type in percent app data percent. Here's your Minecraft dot. Here's your Minecraft folder. Sorry. You click on that and you will see bin. You want to click on your bin. You want to open with WinRAR. And right here. And that's all you do. Um, you open these folders here and you drag them in.